takes on number five seed, Wang Zi Yi. That's next. Well, a warm welcome back to Finland, where we've reached the uh, women's singles final. And like the mixed doubles, it is a China versus China contest. Han Yue, the 23-year-old, in fact, two 23-year-olds. Wang Ziyi is her opponent. Just a couple of spots between these two in the rankings. Han was taken to three games by Mia Blickfeld in Denmark in the quarterfinals. Uh, Wang, nearly three games yesterday, but still a great win over P.D. Sindhu, the double Olympic medalist. And here's how we stand in terms of the race to the World Tour Finals. And Se Young has been brilliant this year, just ahead of Yamaguchi. Power leader Marin currently in third spot. China. I do like the way they get the youngsters involved here. It's a big thrill walking on with one of the top players in the world. And Wang Ti Yi, also China. So here comes Wang Ziyi, who actually has a very impressive head-to-head -head record against Han, leads 4-1. confirmation of it. In fact, the only victory that Han has had over Wang was at the uh, World Championship Black, last year. Red. Round of 16. He won the toss. Surf, which side? Okay, good luck. <laughs> I think
think this might be a tough one to call, Chris. I mentioned it was 4-1 on the head-to-head -head in Wang's favour, but not much between them on the rankings. And the way they've played this week suggests it might be close. Yeah, I think it's, it is very difficult. I think you, you've got 9 and 11 in the world, um, third and fourth ranked Chinese players. The results are fairly similar, and as you said, both played very well. I think when they last played each other, um, most of the head-to-heads, well, quite a few of them were from quite a long time ago. Yeah. So kind of take that with a pinch of salt. And it's obviously, it is always a slightly peculiar one when two players from the same nation play each other. Just because you know each other's games inside out. I think that mixed doubles final we saw was a little bit, little bit like that. Pan Yu was runner-up at this year's Thai Masters. So best effort this year. Won a couple of events though. Sai Modi in 2018 and then the high-low Open last year. Her ranking of nine is her best. That's for Wang Si Yi. Well, she's been up at six in the world. That was right at the start of this year. Currently down at number 11. Been a while since she won a major trophy. Her first and only Super 300 came in 2019 at the US Open. She's lost the last two finals that she's played. Both of those last year. And she did win the Asian Championships last year and she beat Yamaguchi in the final, which is uh, never easy to do. That tough battle with PV Sindhu yesterday, other than that, it's been pretty much plain sailing as you can see there. Philip Bianchi of the United States to the umpire's chair for this one. Ready to play. Maya Kuivula of Finland is the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wang Qiyi, China. And on my left, Han Yue, China. Wang Qiyi to serve, love all, play. So here we go for this women's final. And it'll be Wang to serve first. Love. One love. Doesn't seem to be much of a discernible drift in the arena, but we've seen a, a lot of players lifting long. And clearing long too, for that matter. Yeah, I think it's one of those such fine margins. You've got to get the right length. If you lift short, you, you put yourself in trouble. You give your, your opponent that chance to be on balance and attack. But if you overdo it, talking maybe an inch or so, but everyone reads the game so well, they know it's going out and they can leave it for an easy point. Perfect. Yeah, Wang's moving the shot around really well at the start of this match. Three, Just looking relaxed, looking composed.
we were right behind her when she played that, and it just looked good all the way, didn't it? As soon as it came off the racket. Great turn from Han. Stepped in, sure, took the shuttle over. early. The, the, the attack from Wang is too central. She's not making her opponent move at all. She can take it early. She's on balance. I mean, a perfect shot. That's wow. beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Incredible placement. Service over. Pretty much to perfection. And you know, we're talking about the simplistics of, Four, you can see here, one. Han is in trouble. The shot before she's off, she's, you know, off balance, taking it late, which gives the gap to the other side. Moved it all over the court there. She's got a great disguise, hasn't she, Wang Ti? Yeah, she's got a lovely technique overhead. And I think if we if we just think about the fundamentals, Five, the simplistics of one. you know how to frustrate your opponent, you want to make them move. And at the moment, Wang is definitely putting her opponent hand in more trouble, as in hands covering more court. She's having to move a bigger distance. She's taking the shuttle later, and Wang's having more time on the shuttle. And this is what's allowing her to play these better quality shots at the moment. It's a better rally there from, uh, from Han. Nice deceptive return held. And then there, her Service opponent's over. taking it fractionally late. And now she's on balance there when she's Two, attacking. Five. Really well placed. Placed cross court slice smash. Again, Service great judgment over. from Wang there. Six. Two. Absolutely millimeter perfect. Seven. And it's such two. a difficult thing to be able to do that because we're talking a margin of, I don't know, maybe a couple of centimetres either side, and that's out either the side or the back. I mean, that is literally to the millimetre perfect. Yeah, it was right on the angle, wasn't it, of sideline and back line. She forced it too much. I think a skill that is often underestimated or under, uh, misunderstood slightly is the ability to, when you are below the tape, control the shuttle in an upward direction, lifting. If you can lift to a good caliber, your defense instantly gets better because your opponent is off balance, out of position, or deeper in court. Great shot. She read that clear. Service over. Three, eight. Here, there. Slightly quicker movement there from hand. So she takes it early and then brilliant shot. Oh. Well, that'll frustrate her. Yeah, especially Nine, as the rally before three. played a great rally. Great change of pace. And then just a gift. Just on the line, but we can see in that rally there, 
for me, Han was taking charge. She was the one making Wang move. She was trying to take control of the rally. And there you can see already from that, Wang's taking it later. She's taking it lower. She can't then be as dangerous. Good lead again. Service over. Ten, five. Yeah, and leaving the shuttle is kind of a fine art because you've got to get it right. You, you get it wrong, it's a gift for your opponent, and it's, it's such a fine margin. Nicely played, and that's a very good first half of the opening game. The Wang Ziyi, 11-5 in front she is against an opponent she's beaten four times out of five previously. What a superb angle that was. Yeah, and she read it so well. Five. Serving and moves there. You can see instantly she knows where it's going. She's read it to perfection. Then she's on balance. And then obviously the execution as well is incredible. That was sneaking out, that one. Yeah. Oh, lovely touch. Yeah, and the shot just wasn't good enough. The, the cross-court attack. 13, this this cross-court attack, she's off balance. It's, it's not accurate enough. And then she has to cover the whole court on the diagonal. I do think since the break, Wang's come out here and she's been really proactive. She's hunting the shuttle. She's predicting where it's going. She's taking charge of the rallies, which she did so well at the start of the match. Five. Well, again, much as in the first final and mixed doubles, just too many cheap points here that Han Yue is conceding. That's why the scoreline has got such a one-sided look, or one of the reasons. That's better, though. That's a lovely bit of magic there. We've seen a few of the deceptive returns of serve, and that one was played to perfection. Just holds it and then turns the racket and the body. Well, it's been a bit of a humbling experience so far for her new We're only 10 Six. minutes into this women's singles final. Mentioned at the start, because neither of these women have won a Super 500 before. 
I don't think the difference between 16, them is reflected six. in the scoreline generally. Maybe on the play we've seen, but it's sometimes about who just plays the uh, the, the occasion better. Energy sapping rally. Yeah, and I think, you know, if you think of the two ladies, the, the rankings of 9 and 11 at the moment, it's not portrayed in that way. And I do think it's partly because they train together on a regular basis. So they know each other's games so well. And Wang at the moment, she's one step ahead. I know she lost that rally, comfortable mistake in the end. But if you look at the scoreline, 16 7, you'd never think that. If you, if you just watch the match for the first time and 9 against 11 in the world's playing, the scoreline should be quite close but Wang is one step ahead she knows what her opponent's going to do almost every shot A little shake of the head there from Han Yue another mistake 17 7. Even stems down to if we're going to be, you know, very pernickety about things, the body language. When you look at players, you get a sense of how they're actually feeling. And Wang looks fairly neutral. I wouldn't say she looks overly positive, but I would say Han starting to now look a bit more negative, frustrated. Again, another really deceptive return. So this over. I think it's Eight, Wang's waiting 17. for the, the flick, the push to one of the corners. Brilliant net, fantastic spin that she puts on the shuttle in the end, and it's impossible. The shuttle's spinning so much Nine, for Wang to be 17. able to lift that out. She's almost hitting the feathers first. Got a spin on that. Hasn't managed more than two points consecutively so far, Han Yue. Now would be a good time to go about changing that. I would say Han, Han's having a slightly better section of the game now. She's been a little bit more creative, trying to take the game on, just forcing one or two mistakes from her opponent. Brilliant, just inside the line. Feels like she's just getting her feeling a little bit better. She's lifting and clearing now. The quality has, has improved. Four points in a row. And it was the net shot before that set it up. It was incredible. There, that tumble well, uh, caught the tape, and it's so hard to lift that, and it's a short lift. Well, body language looks a bit different now to what we saw two or three minutes ago, but still well behind in this opening game. 
That's why, though. It's just amazing. gone off the boil, hasn't she? Yep, and how the momentum changes. 17. You know, uh, as I said, body language looked a bit negative, and all of a sudden now, nice run of points, and everything's starting to change, the momentum of the game. The mistakes are now coming from Wang. chance and what a moment potentially yeah that was a big point that was a big point and she played the rally so well and then it was almost like she paused she played such a good shot and then she just waited Service yeah just waits over. almost stops the rally rack it down Look. 18, 13. whereas if she'd have been ready racket ready made a move she wouldn't have missed that yeah look everything stops that was bizarre Cannot afford to lose focus in this game. Big point that for Wang. <laughs> Gonna challenge this. Challenges called Here's Han Yue. Judging from the huge screen that. <laughs> Wang let out. I'm, I'm thinking this probably was long, but or Kyle give us the definitive verdict. Yeah, fire distance. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. And why the the point previously was so important was just because the run, the run the hand was 19, on. The most integral 13. thing is you want to keep on that run, and as the opponent, you want to stop the run. So when you're in the momentum of winning points, just keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, she'd won six in a row, and should have been seven. Perfect, absolutely perfect net shot. But the only reason she could play the perfect net shot, we see how early she is. She is so early on this. Here we go, here. On balance, in position. I mean, that is, it doesn't get any better. But look at that. She's in the perfect position to play it because the shot before she set herself up. Seven game points. Just missed it. Right shot. Yep, she was there early. She had it. She just Service tried to play it a fraction too perfect. 14. I don't think it's the shot that she would win the rally from. It's maybe two or three after that while she stretches her opponent a bit more and a bit more. Great shot. It was a shot before, because there she's on balance. The shot before she put her opponent in trouble, which set that opportunity up. Yeah, challenges called out. It's a close, so, close yeah, one. It will be game if this doesn't get overturned. It's a very quiet call. I almost didn't hear it, but let's see what Hawkeye says. If it's long, oh, it's bang on the line. Well, bang on the line. Correction. So Wang has to come back out. And that's three game points saved. Albeit still four to go. 16, 20, play.
Well, this time it is game. 21 points to 16. However, certainly deserved for Wen, but for what we saw from her, Chris, in the second half of that game, yeah. she can take some confidence from that. She can get back into this match. Definitely. She was 17 7 down. I mean, that's a massive comeback. Um, and it was when she got that run, everything changed her confidence, body language, shot selection. She was so much more proactive. Second game, love all, play. So let's see whether Han can continue where she left off, albeit in defeat, the second part of that opening game. She also cut out the unforced errors towards the end of game one. Made it much harder for Wang to win certainly easy points and quick points. Two, love. Here on balance, great placement just inside the line. Wow, lovely bit of deception there. Just held it that fraction longer. Made it look like she was maybe going to push it to the back. Three, Just five. cuts under the shuttle. A little bit tricky to see from that replay just because her body's in the way, but a lot of skill involved in that shot. Wow, what, this is a different player. She's coming out with, you know, so much creativity already. The shot before where she held and turns it. This one here, that's a lovely shot. And then it sets up the chance. Her opponent's scrambling in trouble. Big gap. On the scoreboard. Well, it's E in game two. One, four. Reads it well here, up, gets the chance. And this is why singles players, you know, repetition of the quality of their shot. When they get the chance, it's how accurate their attack is.
Yeah, it was it was just relentless attack. Han was doing well to survive. She was on the back foot almost the whole rally. Uh, and then it was almost inevitable that it was gonna get her there. She's in so much trouble. And then here Wang's great position in perfect play. I mean, the, the end result phenomenal, the accuracy. Well, she needed something like that because Han had won 14 of the previous 19 points, even though she's a game down. Well, that's a terrible misjudgment. Service over, 5-2. Yeah, it looks like it was plumb on the line. Woo! Good judgment. And from Wang, we're Service definitely seeing over. a more aggressive, Three, even in her body five. language, she's up for it now. She knows that now she's won the first game, she's got to keep the pressure on her opponent. Well, also, I think she knows she has to raise it a bit because of the way that Han is now playing. Yeah, and as you identified in the statistic not long ago, the, the momentum, the momentum is all with Han. Full marks for effort, but it's great play from Hen Yue. Seven, three. From the start of the match, it's, it's changed so much. Um, it's, it's almost like two different players. You've got Han now really taking things on, a lot less simple mistakes, being so much more aggressive, moving the shuttle around a lot better. Out. Just as I've said that, <laughs> simple mistakes need to. You've, you've learned already about the commentator's curse. Yes, yeah, so every time I say anything. <laughs> Gonna end up having to apologize to every single player, I think. Yeah, just a lift there from from Wang, it wasn't wide enough. She's not putting Han in enough trouble. Hands, the lift here. You can see Han here, she's too on balance. She's in position. And that allows her to then create the angle. That's why it's so important that you stretch your opponent. a bit weary after that rally, Han, just puffing a little bit.
Nice angle from Wang. And again, she made the move. She served, she got up, she read where it was going. Here, you can see, turns her feet to move and then plays a great cross court. I do think almost every time Han plays a, well, she's playing obviously very deceptive returns, but when she's playing to the net on return of service being a lot more effective, she's going out to a corner, Wang's reading it. Tell you what, though, if she is getting a bit tired here, and I genuinely think she is, she's not going to want too many more rallies like that. But the other thing for me is, you know, she can't show it. Because if I'm her opponent, I'm lapping that up. Seven, and I do eight. think there are certain things that players maybe need to have a better conscious kind of understanding of. If, if you are tired, fine. Uh, you know, but you've got to hide it because it gives your opponent that. It might be 1% extra, but we're talking about incredibly fine margins of players of this calibre. Yeah, what more incentive do you need to extend rallies than if you think your opponent's tiring? Out. So that lead that Han had early in the game, four-point lead, oh. has come and gone. I think something that's so important is to try and make your opponent feel uncomfortable. You, you, you know, you don't want them to feel relaxed. You don't want them to feel, oh, I'm tired or I'm frustrated or I'm angry or I'm in a, a bad position. So I think it's so important to almost portray what you think you should portray rather than what you're actually feeling. It's almost like you're an actor or an actress. Brilliant. I'll tell you what was a bit strange though, Chris. Just before that point, she put her hand up hand to the umpire just to say, I'm just taking 20 seconds of rest here. Nine, yeah, I think she wanted to change eight. the shuttle. She was doing anything right. to slow it yeah. down. And uh, you're right, she's showing signs of fatigue. So she's wanted to change the shuttle again, wants to change the shuttle. Maybe she really does. Maybe she wants to slow the game down, give herself an extra 20 seconds to recover. But we've only played 34 minutes so far and if she wins this game she's gonna to have to play another whole game not good signs really in terms um, of stamina no true i mean it could be that this is just her demeanor as in she's a a character that moves around in this way but if it is fatigue it it's looking obvious ish could all be a game it could all be a trick though as well fooling everyone to make a make them believe that she's really tired when she's loads of energy that's a, <laughs> that would be a an interesting tactic if she's putting it on yeah well this is being challenged i thought she might actually so i'm not absolutely convinced the call was right let's see i think the angle because we're just off is so hard to tell i've got a lot of them wrong on the line no problem Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. Service over, nine all, play. Yeah, there's a poor clear from Wang. Ten, nine. Yeah, yeah, it's too flat. Too close to her opponent as well. Brilliant pick up. Wow. Well, that's an authoritative way to go 
after the mid-game break, suddenly seem to find some more energy in that rally. Yeah, I mean, the last two rallies, she's played like she's absolutely fine. She's portraying she's tired, but in the rallies, moved well, played two fantastic rallies. Lovely neg change there. Fantastic stop drop, great pick up here. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Challenging? Um, no. Service over. Thought Ten, about it. Changed my mind. That might have been that might have been wide. In fact it was given out. Now she's going to get the uh, full on tired routine again. Yeah, and it's 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 <laughs> tough because for for these two players, you know, this is the start of possibly a four week tour of Europe. There's a lot of matches to be played, and it's incredible first week for them, both of them to get to the final. But then you've got a big tournament next week in Denmark, and another big one after that in in France. Forty shot rally, just to test her stamina. Brilliant. Again, reads it. Almost every time that hand is going out on the return of serve, Wang is reading it so well. She's up. Great placement. Have to say the accuracy from these two ladies. But, you know, singles players in, in general, they're, they're so accurate on that overhead attack. Tough as it is for a doubles, players to, doubles player to say, but singles players are so much more accurate than doubles players overhead. Very magnanimous. <laughs> Wang's had a really nice patch here after the break. Eight four down at one point. Wang at this game. Mistakes creeping back in to Hearn's game now. 14, Just 11. starting to slip. And in that rally there, I'm sure we'll get to see it, but what I liked is Wang, she played a shot. She played a great spin and she thought her opponent was going to lift. She started to preempt that by moving backwards. But she's trying to predict where it's going. She's being proactive. She's trying to take charge of the rallies. That's what she's done well since the break. Brilliant. A little bit of fortune there, because I think um, hand slightly mishits this lift. I think it comes off the frame. Lift here. Yeah, 
So it's a short lift, but again, look at the accuracy here. We're talking every time there's an attack, it's a couple of inches inside the line. It's phenomenal accuracy from both ladies. Brilliant. Oh. Great placement. It was a lovely cross net earlier in that rally as well. That, that's an incredible shot. And it gets the higher oh, lift. 15. And then she's in a good position. Then she's got time. And then she, you know, then she can use the placement attack. You have to set yourself up in the rally. Really, it was just fantastic touch, fantastic hands. Yeah, we saw it earlier in the match, and it, it, it's hard to really kind 13, of give it the, the skill that it deserves as in the appreciation, because it is such a skillful shot. When you slow it down, it doesn't look quite as, you know, as, as amazing as it is, but it's such a deceptive shot. Good leave. Yeah, maybe a little fraction of fortune there from Wang. She just got a, a neck cord and the shuttle just tumbled. So when Han plays the lift, she just slightly overhits it. Well, this time it's Wang Ziyu's down and out. Service over. Fantastic shot there. You can see how much trouble Wang's in. 14, 16. And their final placement, brilliant. And then fairly easy kill. after this match it's just integral that both ladies do everything they need to do to recover maybe they'll fly later tonight for for danish open which they'll be playing looks like she's asked for the uh, medic uh, on wang Yi. it looked like she was signaling her finger maybe or she not or maybe not is it her knee well i think that woman will be glad of the respite to be honest I just need some kind of a plaster or some spray or something on that finger. It's been a bizarre kind of match, Chris, because both women have sort of played in snatches and then they've gone off the boil a little bit and it's been a, been a, a topsy-turvy contest, still might be in this game. Yeah, I mean, especially if we look at the first game, it was a real kind of for momentum shifts, as it were. Such a big lead, 17-7, then in the end, bringing it right back where it was kind of nip and tuck. And it's going to be so important now because it was such a big point in the second game, 16-14. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure she liked that. Where does it hurt? There. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh. But when they restart, you cannot afford to make a cheap, you know, a cheap mistake. You can't afford to hit the wrong shot. You've got to be straight back in. And after this long delay, 16, 14, every point is so crucial. Well, I think she's had second thoughts about getting some kind of dressing on her sheet. 
at least no doesn't want it anymore guessing she's got some kind of a cut and there was a wipe going on it Well, it remains to be seen how handicapped she'll be, if, if at all, by that uh, issue with the finger. 14, 16, play. And it's hand to serve, still a couple of points down. She's in a good position here, Wang, for me. No, no real excuse to be making that mistake. It's a great cross-court shot from Wang. Yeah, and now if I was Wang, I'd, I'd be looking at my opponent and thinking, I've just got to keep the pressure 15. on. I've got to work the rallies. I'm not going to go for anything too extreme too early on. I'm going to play the full rally, and then I'm going to wait for my chance. shot from that position though very small margin for error yeah on this one 16 17 yeah brilliant absolutely brilliant shot Great judgment there, because it was creeping out. But in that position, do you take the risk or not? Well, there was a scream of exasperation 18, from Han. Almost relief, I think, to get that point. Could have been 17-0. Huge point, this. Yeah, had it been 19-16, you'd have fancied uh, Wang very strongly, as it is now, right in the balance. Just see a few of these rallies, Wang, she's just forcing it a fraction. She has got brilliant touch, but she's almost trying to play too perfect. She's hoping for a net cord to almost then end the rally. Great. Oh, out. I thought that was in. Well, it's been appealed immediately, so Hawkeye's going to be on the case here. And this is a massive, yeah. massive decision. 19 17 or 18 all. Did part of the court touch the line? Is that in or out? It's out. It's out. I would not be a good line judge. <laughs> well, I mean, you get one look at real speed, no it's a, a fabulous task, I think. And actually, when you think about how many of the original decisions are, are upheld with oh. Hawkeye, they do a pretty good job. Yeah, they do. Lion judges do do a great job. 
So big moments now at the end of this second game. 51 minutes in, 18 all. Another cheap point, and this is the thing, Wang, she can kind of see the finish line, but she's forcing these points. Almost three simple-ish mistakes in kind of the last four points. Brilliant. Played the full rally as an exposed opponent. Waited for the space. 19-0. Service over. 19 all. Now, the interesting thing for me is here, what return of serve are we going to see? Are we going to see a deceptive hold to the net, or are we going to see a flat push to the corner? Oh, that was a weak one. That really was. Yeah, and that's a massive point for Wang. But in that rally for me, Wang, she just played the rally. She moved the nice shuttle point. around. She didn't go for anything. Nice she didn't take any risks. She almost waited for her opponent to try and do something. And Han did, and she just missed it. Yeah. She almost like sank her opponent. I dare you. I'm not going to blink first. Championship point for Wang Ziyi. Incredible pickups there from uh, from Wang. Two incredible pickups. Uh, Han, sorry, she did so well to keep her composure. Two, these, look at this second one. What a pickup! Service but then over. here, Han, she does so well to keep her composure for that winner. Especially under the circumstances, this is that all over as it is. She can take the second game. It's a coin toss again. Great pick up. It's in, and she's got a point here to take us to a decider. Incredible rally. Both women had the initiative at different moments in that exchange. Yeah, it was a great rally, and then again, it shows how you know important deciding is it in, is it out. It's so tough, because I think that's at the outside edge of the line. Played to perfection. We're talking probably, I don't know, an inch, half an inch difference. And these are the incredibly fine margins at the very top in the world. No, she's put it wide and we are going to a decider. That's assuming Han Yu has got the energy for it. 22-20. It's one game all in this women's final. Yeah, Wang, she just forced that last attack. The net shot she played before was incredible and she got what she wanted. She just tried to play too perfect cross court.
seconds, 20 seconds. Final game, love all, play. Service over. Well, tough to pick a winner from here, really. So little to choose between them in that One second game. Love. I think the, the thing for Wang is, you know, she was almost touching victory. She had that match, <clears throat> that match point. How can she bounce back in this third game? Because for, for both ladies, it's so important because they've got to catch Herbing Zhao, who's the second ranked Chinese player, if either of these two ladies want to try and qualify for the Olympics. Two well, that was uh, a little timid, to say the least. Yeah, two quite cheap points from Han at the start of this third game. Brilliant. That's better. I've got to say, the way Han's moving, I think she tricked us. <laughs> Service I think she's a, One, she's an actress two. in the making. I think maybe that's just her demeanor. She's relaxed with her body language and not really focused on it. Brilliant, brilliant spin on that net shot. This is the thing, if you've got good, if you've got a good net shot, it sets up your attack. They kind of work hand in hand in a way. Here, on balance. She's taking that quite low as well. To get that much spin and play a net shot that good from that. Very impressive. Brilliant. Well, two errors in the first two points of the game. And three, now, three two. winners from Han Yue. Almost a little case of Jekyll and Hyde to an extent of, yeah, two very cheap points and then three almost masterpiece points. Brilliant. Wang did really well there because at the start of that rally she was in trouble. Han had the, the control of the rally and Wang managed to turn that round. The final block quality was incredible. Just past the hour mark in this women's final. It looked difficult to pick a winner at the start. <laughs> Still looks very, very tricky. That's Perfect. right on the line. <laughs> yep. And I think when you, it's one of those games where you have two players from the same country and you either get a, a slightly one-sided encounter, Four. which we had a bit oh. more in the mixed doubles, or you get, you know, a classic, an absolute kind of humdinger as in a game that's going to push each other the whole way, which we didn't have at the start of this, but then after the start, exactly what we've had. That's 
well in. That was a, that was a really bad error from, from Wang. Service over. I think it was Five, a situation where four. she kind of hoped. But it's great control to go over a player in that situation and, and not push it out, but also get good depth. Gotta say, Han's net is pretty incredible. The spin that she generates. Almost every time Wang's trying to lift the shuttle off the net, the shuttle is spinning so much she can't hit it cleanly. And this is why, you see the shuttle spinning so much, and that's why the lift's going out, because she can't control exactly where she's actually lifting it. Wang did incredible to survive that rally. She was in so much trouble. You can see what it's taken out of both ladies here. Service over. Five, seven. Just when you think one of them has got the initiative, the other fights back, finds a way. Yeah, and this is it. It's 65 minutes in, and, and this is why some of the training players do is partly mental, as in some of the things that players go through the training, it's not very nice, it's not enjoyable, but it's to test you, to get you to believe that, you know, after an hour of intense competition, you're still fine to continue. Forced it out, just forced it out. It's when it's a final, it's even tougher because it's not just this one match. You've obviously had a, a build-up of matches throughout the week. And it's the relentless pressure on the body. Yeah, and it's one of the busiest times of the year. You mentioned earlier, tournaments coming thick and fast in successive weeks. Brilliant. Wow. Incredible from hand. She dealt with the net cord and played a phenomenal shot off it. Nine. Well, if the pattern of this match continues, then we're, we're due a Wang comeback now from 9-5 down. It's amazing to think in the first game, Wang was 17-7 up in the first game, in full control, flowing, Han was struggling. To think now Han is 9-5 up in the third, and she looks like she's playing the best she's played in the whole match. wide and you can see both ladies here like bent over this is taking so much out of them this is such a mental battle now a mental and physical battle 10 5 Well, that was a little defeatist, wasn't it? Yeah, she's gone for something magical there. Very, very easy mistake. So 11-5 it is in Han's favour. We're an hour and seven in. 
And it looks like it's her new ways to lose from here. That brilliant net. Twelve five. So much spin. Cheap mistake. It's quite a long way out. 13, five. He's on force. There is a creeping in now from Wang. She's got to stamp them out. All of a sudden, Wang has just lost 14, her touch five. completely. This is the thing after the, the second game when she kind of touched victory. How much did that take it out of her with the frustration and belief? Can she really now win this in the third? They're still playing Service some lengthy points at times, six, aren't they? 14. Yeah, the quality, the majority of it is still very good. I mean, especially from Han. She's not lowered her level at all. We've just seen a few mistakes from Wang. Momentum is with hand now. Just missed it. I was kind of. I was kind of expecting a, a tight, tense decider. Looks like we're, we're probably not going to get that. Yeah, from 7-5. Seven, 7-5 five. Seven, seven, five to hand. Seven, she just got that, that big run. Seven points. And then it just feels like Wang's starting to doubt herself. She's, does she really believe she can, she can pull this back? Every rally, Wang seems to be on the back foot now. But are we going to see a magical comeback? Well, you Eight, certainly wouldn't rule 15. it out. 
considering what we've seen in this match so far. Challenge immediately. And challenges called out from uh, NUA. Might just fancy the rest. Let's see what Hawkeye says. Yeah, well out. I think you're right. Challenge in that, in that situation, it was actually a, a sensible time to take a pause, reset, because she's just given away a run of points there. 10, 15. I think it was more of a tactical use. Play. Could it, could it prove costly? Because might she need it later on in the game? Well, the unpredictability 15. of this match <laughs> continues. She had 15-6 at one point. I think something to get across to any of the young players watching this. Service They're maybe thinking, why is my coach 16, working me so hard 11. at times? It's because you still need quality even when you're heavily fatigued. You can see these two women are very, very tired. It's the end of a tournament, it's the final. And just these unforced errors are creeping in more and more. But they need to still have the quality 11. that they showed both players earlier on in the match. Brilliant pick up. It's amazing how often adrenaline can get you to a shuttle, even if your your body's really protesting. Class, wasn't it? Yeah, incredible quality. You can see how how close it is to the net. 
Such a tight drop shot. What a pick up. Absolutely fantastic. I think a fraction, maybe a fraction of luck there, because I'm not sure she knew everything about it, but moment 19, of brilliance. 12. Did amazing to play that. You mentioned about pushing themselves through the frame barrier. Well, 20. that's what the top women in the world do. Match Yamaguchi, Chen Yifei, and Se Young, they all battle till the, the last point. And here are eight championship points for Han Yue. That's going to be wide, and that's going to be the title. 21-12 in the decider. It's a brilliant effort considering she had to save a match point in the second game. She actually looked out on her feet in that game as well, but she found the reserves of energy and the skill to come through in the end. And pretty convincingly in the final game, you'd have to say. A match that lasted for an hour and 19 minutes. Match one by Han Yue, 16, 21, And it's only 22, the second time 20, 21, in six attempts that she's beaten Wang Ziyi. There you see it. She wins 16, 21, 22, 20, 21, 12 in an hour and 20 minutes on court. It like an hour and 20 minutes. It was very entertaining. Went by quickly, didn't it? Yeah, it was a great game and incredible. Han Yu, she 17-7 down in the first, looked totally out of the match. She was that far down. The second game, as you said, saved a match point and then to come back in the third and put in that performance, so impressive. First Super 500 event victory of Han Yue's career. Third World Tour title in total after the Syed Modi and then the High Low Open, which she won last year. At Clash of Clans Arctic Open, powered by Yonix, part of HSBC BWF World Tour. Please welcome the finalists. First prize, 31,500 US dollars. Please salute our great finalists. Thank you, Mr. Yang. 
<laughs> Making sure she looks presentable, absolutely fine. In a good tournament for China so far with both finalists in both the mixed doubles and now in the women's singles. But there is no Chinese representation in the men's singles. It's an all Malaysian affair, actually. Li Zijia against Eun Ji Young, and that is coming up in just a couple of minutes. Stay with us. Welcome back to Vanta, where we've reached the uh, men's singles final. Two Malaysians going to battle it out. Lee Zixie against Eun Ziyong. 